Hello and welcome back to The Book Fox Summaries, bringing literature to life one summary at the time. Can't tackle that TBR pile? Don't have time to read? We've got you covered. So, grab a kappa, get comfy, and join us on this incredible journey through the world of literature. Today we delve into the captivating narrative of Daphne and Peter from Emily Henry's funny story. Our story begins with Daphne, deeply in love with her fiancé Peter. As if plucked from the pages of a fairy tale, their romance was as enchanting as it was unexpected. They met on a blustery day, their hearts intertwined quicker than the gusts of wind that swept through them. Their love story was as captivating as Peter's knack for narration, filled with laughter, warmth, and an errant hat that brought them together. Their union seemed destined, a match made in heaven. So, they packed up their dreams and moved to Peter's idyllic lakeside hometown, ready to begin their happily ever after. But as life would have it, the plot took an unexpected turn. Peter, the charming storyteller, found himself entangled in a tale of his own. He realized he was in love with his childhood best friend Petra, leaving Daphne's story abruptly interrupted. In the face of such revelation, Daphne's world crumbled. The love story she cherished was no more, replaced by a twist she never saw coming. Yet, amidst the heartbreak and the confusion, Daphne found an unlikely ally, Miles Nowak, Petra's ex, who was equally stranded in the beautiful yet lonely Waning Bay, Michigan. Their connection was as unexpected as it was necessary, a beacon of hope in their shared predicament. Miles, with his scruffy charm and chaotic life, seemed to be the exact opposite of Daphne. She, with her practicality and buttoned-up demeanor, was an enigma to her co-workers. Yet, their stark differences didn't stop them from forming a bond. A bond that held the promise of a new beginning for Daphne, a new chapter in her life story. And thus, Daphne finds herself beginning a new chapter of her life, alone in Waning Bay, Michigan. Her tale of love and loss is a testament to the unpredictable nature of life, a reminder that sometimes the most unexpected twists lead us to the most beautiful beginnings. In her new life Daphne finds herself proposing to be roommates with an unlikely candidate, Miles Nowak. They say life is full of surprises and for Daphne this was certainly one of them. In the picturesque town of Waning Bay, Michigan, Daphne embarks on her new journey. She lands her dream job as a children's librarian, a role she embraces with a love for literature and a heart full of nurturing compassion. But as many of us know, dream jobs don't always come with dream salaries. Despite the fulfillment she finds amongst the books and the children, Daphne's income barely covers her bills. Enter Miles Nowak, the scruffy and chaotic ex of Petra, Peter's new love. Miles, with his disheveled charm and penchant for heartbreak love ballads, is the perfect embodiment of chaos. A stark contrast to Daphne's buttoned-up practicality. There's a mysterious aura about Daphne, so much so that her co-workers have an ongoing bet. They can't decide if she's an FBI agent or in witness protection. Daphne and Miles, these two polar opposites, find themselves sharing a living space. It's an arrangement born out of necessity and at first it's anything but smooth sailing. They mostly keep to themselves, each wrapped up in their own world of heartbreak and change. But as they say, misery loves company. One day their paths intertwine in a shared moment of sorrow. It's a turning point, a moment that sparks a tenuous friendship between the practical librarian and the chaotic music lover. They find solace in each other's company, understanding in each other's heartbreak, and a shared strength to move forward. And so, a plan is born. A plan that involves misleading photos of summer adventures, a plan that brings a little bit of fun and a lot of deception into their lives. But it's all in good fun of course because there's no way Daphne would actually start her new chapter by falling in love with her ex fiancés new fiancé's ex, right? Despite their differences, Daphne and Miles form a tenuous friendship, born out of shared sorrows. A friendship that's just the beginning of a story filled with twists, turns, and a whole lot of heart. As Daphne and Miles spend more time together, they hatch a plan. Now, you might be thinking, what kind of plan could this unlikely duo possibly come up with? Well, let's dive in. In their shared struggle and mutual heartbreak, the pair find a strange form of camaraderie. Their experiences, as different as they are, have led them to the same point in life. And from this common ground, a plan begins to take shape. A plan that's as audacious as it is entertaining. You see, Daphne and Miles decide to post deliberately misleading photos of their summer adventures together. We're talking about sun-soaked beach trips, laughter-filled barbecues, cozy campfire nights, the whole nine yards. 
To the outside world it seems they are having the time of their lives. Two hearts healing together in the warm glow of friendship. These photos, carefully curated and cleverly captioned, tell a story of joy and companionship. They showcase a friendship that seems to have blossomed from the ashes of their respective heartbreaks. But behind the camera, the reality is a little different. In reality, Daphne and Miles are still navigating the choppy waters of their past relationships, they're still figuring out their own lives, let alone their relationship with each other, but these photos, these fleeting moments of joy, they serve a purpose. They're a facade, a carefully constructed narrative designed to distract, to mislead, to keep the world at bay while they figure things out. And yet as the summer wears on, something begins to shift. The lines between their make-believe world and reality start to blur. The laughter in the photos starts to feel real. The shared moments of joy once staged start to come naturally. And so, we're left wondering. This plan, this game of pretend, could it turn into something more? Could Daphne, the practical buttoned-up librarian, and Miles, the scruffy, heartbroken musician actually be falling for each other? But, remember, it's all just for show, or is it? Just when you think you know where this story is headed, Emily Henry throws us a curveball. And that, my friends, is the beauty of a well-spun tale. Daphne, our practical buttoned-up protagonist, finds herself in an unexpected predicament. She's now sharing a roof with Miles, the ex of her ex-fiancé's new love. It's a tangled web, isn't it? But this is where the plot thickens. Daphne and Miles, two polar opposites, begin to form a tenuous friendship. Yes, you heard it right. Friendship. It all starts innocently enough, with shared sorrows and a mutual understanding of heartbreak. Emily Henry, with her expert storytelling, pulls us deeper into their lives. She writes, and I quote, The roommates mainly avoid one another, until one day, while drowning their sorrows, they form a plan. A plan that involves misleading photos of their summer adventures together. A plan that is, for all intents and purposes, just for show. But as we move along this winding narrative, we start to question, could there be more to this? Could Daphne, in the midst of her chaos, be falling in love with Miles? It seems unfathomable. After all, he's her ex-fiancé's new fiancé's ex. It's a mouthful and a mind-bender. Will Daphne's new chapter indeed begin with her falling for her ex-fiancé's new fiancé's ex? Only time will tell. That, dear viewers, is the enchanting narrative of Daphne and Peter from Funny Story by Emily Henry. We've journeyed through their love, heartbreak, and unexpected friendships. Before we go, we ask for your help. Please subscribe to our channel. With your subscription, you are helping us to have the power to create more summaries. Comments and recommendations are welcome. Hit the like button, share with friends and turn on notifications to stay in the loop. See you next time. Happy reading.